The CDC has said that older adults and people with chronic medical conditions are more likely to get severely sick from COVID-19. But what about claims that balding makes COVID worse? Paulo Soro verifies, is there a link between COVID-19 and people with male pattern baldness? Could going bald put you at higher risk for complications of COVID-19? To verify, our sources are medical expert Dr. Pyle Coley, the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology, the American Association for the Advancement of Science, and a study from biomedical database UK Biobank. According to all four, this is true. If you have male pattern baldness, this is just a sign that your body may be more sensitive, you know, to getting hospitalized. Let's start with the how. Dr. Coley explains that people with high levels of sensitivity to androgens or sex hormones are more likely to end up in the hospital for COVID-19. Both men and women dealing with baldness or androgenic alopecia have higher levels of those hormones. All three studies examining the connection between COVID and the hormones show that androgens make it easier for the virus to enter cells. What we don't know about this relationship yet is whether it's a causation. What was also interesting is that it wasn't just limited to men. So women who also had male pattern baldness appear to have a similar sort of pattern. The common link appears to be here increased androgen sensitivity. And according to our sources, the balder you are, the higher the risk of being hospitalized. So how sensitive you are to sex hormones determine conditions such as male pattern baldness, and it's likely mostly genetically driven, but also probably has some influence from lifestyle habits and other medical conditions as well. So we can verify both men and women with a sign of increased androgens, which cause bald are more likely to be hospitalized for COVID-19. Dr. Coley suggests getting the vaccine and adds that if baldness runs in your family, you let your loved ones know about the possible risks.